Let's go to environmental matters now. And the country's first ever weekly environmental feature on television, Eco Journal, is back. Tonight, we turn our attention to Nyahururu, an agriculturally rich area known for its potatoes and maize. In recent years, however, changes in climate have led to low crop yields. Well, in a bid to cope with the unpredictable weather, some farmers are abandoning their traditional ways of farming. On Eco Journal tonight, Rita Tanina reports on Nyahururu's new farming trend and the driving force behind it. In agricultural circles, Nyahururu is famous for its potatoes and maize. With cool temperatures and availability of land, the two have over the years been the crops of choice for many farmers. But now something seems to have changed in the once rich food basket in the highlands. The snowfall in 2008 may not have had any proper explanation, but here farmers know something about their climate is changing fast for the worse. Like, for example, this year, there is no rain uh, at all. So all the people who grew maize are definitely will have to buy maize come next year. And they are beginning to look for new ways to survive. I grew maize and I grew beans, like my mother did. So I, I, I continued the same. But uh, after training... This is where I really realized I was doing quite a big, big mistake. On his 10-acre piece of land, Murugu Gateru has taken what to some farmers would amount to risky business. But it is paying off. Crops never before grown in this area are flourishing. The kojet you will find here is not your ordinary variety. Beetroot, cabbages, onions peas and spinach are among crops that have taken over this space once reserved for maize and beans. Maize uh, grows uh, in the whole year. We plant in March and we harvest in November, December. Uh, when I learned that uh, there are other uh, varieties that can grow for two season, twice in the year, I decided not to grow maize. The new farming venture, which locals call Kilimo Biashara, Gateru says, makes economic sense and keeps him busy on the farm all year round. I make sure that there is a crop that is being harvested every month and there is another crop that is being transplanted and there is another crop that I'm putting in the seedbed. Gateru is able to beat the unpredictable weather, come rain or sunshine thanks to the availability of water from a nearby stream which is pumped into these tanks then flows through gravity to his shamba. And produce from his farm is much sought after. So the market is ready and actually uh, I cannot even satisfy the market. Gateru owes his new approach to these women, the Ziwani Mogeko Women's Group. Tunaenda tukienda kwa mangurupu wana kutana mangurufu wengi. Wakikutana, tunawasomesha vile watalima kilimo biashara. Gateru is among dozens of farmers who have benefited from training from the women's group on alternative and sustainable agricultural methods. I opened up, I was opened up and I decided to change and the results can be seen. Eh, county government wametupea wame jukumu ya kufusa watu nyandalwa muzima. Kwa mana wakati wali tuita uko kwa show o kalau, waliona tukifudisha watu uko kwa, kwa show. Wakaona tunafudisha mzuri. In Miley, in the area of Nyahururu, we find the women's latest venture, a greenhouse. Hawa dona wanaitwa act, wali tusaidia sana sana. Kwa sababu wali tupatia pesa, wakatu wabia tujenge greenhouse ya kufudisha watu. The greenhouse, which is able to control climatic conditions of plant growth, ensures the capsicum crop does not fail. Water from a nearby well is used in the greenhouse. The women's group is going beyond just training on sustainable farming methods. It is also helping small-scale farmers to fetch better prices for their produce by eliminating brokers. Tunatafuta market. Atakama nina lobby. 
kama ni nakuru the group was formed in the year 2002 initially as a means of helping women save through collective efforts 12 years later the women are breaking new ground through their training sasa wa mama hatuna tambu hata nyumba zetu zimekuwa safi sasa kwa maana tuko na pesa for an area that once experienced no farmers in the Maili in the area are not leaving anything to chance greenhouse farming enables them to escape the vagaries of weather and the collective farming initiative by the Ziwani Mugeko women's group ensures they have enough on their tables and a little extra in their pockets Rita Tinina KTN Nyahururu